8 miles of storm drains, reinforced concrete box culverts with a rate of flow capacity of 3,189 cubic feet per second. Stormwater runoff from this area eventually leads to Lake Mead, our main source of drinking water. And the team at Project NEON are stormwater ready and working to preserve Nevada's waters. So besides safety of our workers and safety of the traveling public, environmental coordination and protection and mitigation is right up there to the top. Without that, we cannot have a successful project. Project NEON being in an urban setting is very unique challenges with that as well. Where are we gonna place our BMPs with a tight right away footprint? There's many different elements that we have to look out for for water. We are uh, replacing a lot of the regional flood control box adjacent to the I-15. Uh, that work is ongoing right now. Uh, that's going to have a huge improvement to help with that flood that's coming from uh, the west part of the valley all the way through the east part of the valley under the I-15 and getting to the other side. All the water that collects all the way from Mount Charleston goes right here to the Project Neon and it flows underneath the I-15 and goes all the way out to Lake Mead. So it's important for this project to capture that flow, making sure that we mitigate that in management. Improvements include larger and deeper drain inlets to capture more water flow into the drainage system under the roadway to help reduce flooding. So one of the reasons we're successful here is from our uh, environmental protection and mitigation team and compliance team. They do an outstanding job uh, addressing the everyday needs from dust to water uh, pollution and our BMPs as well as our SWPI. Um, also our partners with the City of Las Vegas and working with our de minimis permit that we discharge right into the flood control facility. So overall the reason we're successful is because we have a great environmental team with us. Even though NDOT's ultimately responsible for water protection and water clarity, we rely heavily on our contractor, Kiwit, who's responsible for the day-to-day -day operations for environmental protection. So we're doing a lot of unique things on this job to making sure we are uh, compliant with stormwater protection, such as our BMP program. In uh, Project NEON, we're trying to develop ways to conserve water. And one of these ways is when we're drilling shafts, we pump the groundwater into these banker tanks that we end up using for dust control. So here at Project NEON, this is just another way that we are recycling water back into our system here in Southern Nevada. So here we are pumping water um, during our excavation from groundwater and we are putting it here in the settling basin temporarily and we're filtering it out through these compost socks and back into this um, open culvert and back into Lake Mead. With NDOT, we do take environmental coordination and protection very seriously and preserving Nevada waterways. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nevada DOT for all of your Project Neon updates.